Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GP TV. I'm Brad. Uh, one of the latest releases from Marvel is in my hands is the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Squirrels fall like dominoes. This is volume 9 of the series. It covers issues 32 through 36 by Ryan North, Derek Charm, and Rico Renzi. Uh, for those who don't know Squirrel Girl, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty fun comedic series. Um, you know, it, it knows what it is. It knows what it wants to be. It knows its tone, its look, all that stuff. It knows its voice, um, and you're either gonna like it, or you're gonna dislike it. And for me, I like—I generally like it. It's not a series I read every single month. Uh, I tend to read the trades when they come into my hands, or I don't tend. I read the trades when they come in my hands. Uh, but with all the stuff out there, yeah, something's gotta go. Th what I do really like, appreciate the series, I like the series and appreciate it is that uh, there's so much extra in there. Ryan North and team loves to put so much small details in uh, the comics that really add to the comedic element about it, and they consistently keep the laughs going. So this uh, volume encompasses a bunch of stories. So Squirrel Girl and Craven the Hunter are now buddy-buddy, and she decides to invite him to do an escape room with her and her friends. Just, just go with it. Uh, the escape room, of course, is more than it seems and is actually pretty lethal, and... They have to go fight some bad guys due to that. Uh, that leads them to getting arrested. Then eventually they have to go on trial and deal with all that. And then Spider-Man comes across Craven the Hunter, uh, and Squirrel Girl has to kind of step in on that. It's one story into another into another, and then it actually wraps up with kind of a, with a ghost story that very reminiscent of the first Ghostbusters, but whatever. Um, and it's funny. Like the whole the whole read is entertaining. It's funny to me. It's the small details. It's the little things that. That North and crew put in here that that make it humorous. Um, who the villain was was not someone I expected. Uh, the interactions between the characters are really are, are entertaining. And, you know, basically, if you're just looking, if you're looking for a fun comedic comic, go for it. If you're looking for something like you can give to younger kids, like this is perfect. Um, and you know, it's it's just that goofy fun comic. Is I like I, you're either gonna like it or not. Really, it's it's what it comes down to it. Um, they kind of give you ideas of like the type of stuff they do. Uh, of course, we've got you know, this beginning of the description, very unique, uh, really funny. Uh, but this is the stuff that I really, really like. Is if you look all the way at the bottom, and they've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, there's a whole bunch of notes and jokes all at the bottom of the comic, and these go. This goes on for pages, like every single page, almost every single page, not every single page, but almost every single page has something at the bottom. Uh, and it's either maybe like small little factoids or just outright jokes. It's great. It's it's really entertaining. It's funny. I like it. Uh, it's that small little extra that I think pushes it over. Um, so I like overall, you know, the the the, the comic, the, the story, and all that. Like, it's it's fun. I like it. You know, is it something I'm going to read every single month? No, but as a trade, I enjoy it. And um, you know, uh, you know, you you might as well. Um, the art style. The art style is interesting. It kind of reminds me, it's got like a little Mike Alred to it, Michael Laura Alred, mixed kind of with a cartoon aspect to it. Uh, and I kind of want to say like the 60s Spider-Man cartoon in, in some ways, from what I remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen it. Um, kind of modernized a little bit. I, like, I don't know how to really describe it. You know, it's a consistent style. It's a cool style. I like it. Again, different than everything else out there. Uh, so basically, you know, Squirrel Girl has its voice. It knows what it is, it knows what it wants to be, and pulls it off every single issue, every single trade. You know, if you want some if you want some laughs, check it out. It's it's kind of my pitch right there. If you want a superhero story that's not so serious and can get you some, you know, give you some laughs, go for it. Like, definitely check it out. Um, this is actually a fine volume to start with. You Nine volumes in, totally go with it. Uh, as I said, it's out in comic shops now. You uh, should go support your local comic shop first and foremost. Go back them. Um, they're the backbone of the industry. And they, if you don't know if you have a shop near you, they've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell you if a shop near you. No shop, no problem. We have affiliate links. They're affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site. Uh, speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for us up with the review copy. We always appreciate it. And we like to be transparent as to what we get for free. And we like to thank you for watching, of course. 
And if you are into Squirrel Girl, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics or trades, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep being nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.